Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a comparison between these two air fryers. On the left, I got the Cuisinart six quart air fryer, and on the right, I got the Instant Vortex Plus air fryer. Both of these have a clear window that you can see into the cooking surface. The Cuisinart's retailing for $150, the Instant for $120. So I've been cooking some food with both of these. They both cook the same. It's where you run into the differences are the control panels. So the Cuisinart's control panel is up front facing you. The Instant is at an angle. It's got a nice pretty surface. Now they both have a light and a window here. The Instant, the light comes on automatically whenever I open and close the door. With the Cuisinart, it's not automatic, but I do have a button here that I can turn the light on. I also have a button on the Instant that I can turn it on and off. You know, I might be able to see in the Cuisinart just a little bit better. Okay, so let's take a look at the air fryer baskets. So the Cuisinart is a square. It's a, it's a perfect square that's just under nine inches, about eight and three quarters. The Instant this way is nine and a half, and this way is nine and three quarters. Now we'll go depth wise. They're about the same that way. This, the Instant's a little bit shallower, uh, not quite three and three quarters. The Instant is definitely three and seven eighths. So it's just a little bit past three and three quarters. Now both of them have this crisper tray in the bottom. Now with the Instant, you gotta pay attention to the arrows. So you always have to put this in one way. It's got these silicone feet that keep it from scratching the surface. They both have a really nice non-stick surface. Cuisinart's got those same feet. I can put the tray in any way. And there's what those feet look like. Okay, let's take a look at the Cuisinart. It began a big heating element and a fan above it. And then there's the Instant. Same thing, a heating element and a fan. Okay, so now let's take a look at the control panels. With the Cuisinart, it is a little bit brighter and it faces you. You know, the Instant one is very nice too. It's got a nice display. The next thing is I can turn the beeps off. On the Instant, you can turn the beeps off. On the Cuisinart, you cannot. So let's hit the air fry button. Let's hit the air fry button. I can, on the Cuisinart, go up to 450 degrees. You gotta press the temperature. 400 degrees is the most on the Instant. Press the time. And you got this, uh, rotate this knob. Over here on the Cuisinart, I can, you gotta press a button for time and then press a button for temperature. I can hold it and it'll go faster and it doesn't beep. Same with the time. I've got air fry, roast, bake, broil. Over here, air fry, roast, bake, reheat and broil and dehydrate. So a couple more options on this one. And again, when you're ready to start it, you just hit this big start button right here. And over here on the Cuisinart, again, just a nice big start button. Now the Cuisinart also has preheat on certain functions and so does the Instant. You'll see a preheating bar going around and then there's a status bar to let you know how much it's been cooking. Now both of them, while you got food in there, if you open it up, you can check your food and put it back. It picks up right where it left off. Same with the Cuisinart. I kind of like that automatic light. So with the Cuisinart, um, when it's done, it's gonna beep at you four times and same with the Instant. Yeah, the Instant, this is just a really nice looking surface with nice touchscreen buttons here. And over here, I do like on the Cuisinart, we've got some presets. So if I just want to do some French fries, I just press the French fries button. If I want to do wings, vegetables, it sets the time and the temperature for me. All I have to do is press that button and start. It sets everything up for me. And I got a toss reminder that I can turn on and off. Over here on the Instant, I don't have that toss reminder or turn reminder. Around back, here's what they look like. On the Cuisinart, I got this little cord wrap. Both of them have hot air coming out here, and you've got to position them about four or five inches away from a wall. Cord length is the same, about 36 inches. The Instant is a three-prong cord. The Cuisinart's a two-prong cord. And again, the nice thing about this is both of these trays and those, those crisper trays and this basket are dishwasher safe on both of them. Okay, so the Instant has been around for a while. Cuisinart... From what I can tell, this is their first traditional air fryer. I know they've got some ovens and different things that air fry, but I, I might be wrong on this, but I think this is their first air fryer. Again, Instant's been doing it a long time. There's nothing wrong with either one of these. Again, it's gonna come down to functionality. You know, that's kind of nice having that light come on automatically. Being able to turn the beeps off is nice, but then I love these presets. But then I don't necessarily like pressing buttons to get something to change. I do like that, that turn wheel. But again, this display is a little easier to see. This display, I've got lights on right now. Typically, you don't have really bright lights in your kitchen.
but this display can be a little challenging to read sometimes. You know, and you do see this one here on sale. Right now it's $120. I have seen it as low as $100. With the Cuisinart, I haven't seen the sales yet. It just came out, it's $150. That seems a little high for me, but both of these are very premium uh, air fryers. You can tell they're just, a lot goes into the construction. You can just tell they're, they're nice and refined. They've taken their time making it. It looks like they've used good quality products. And as far as that little glass there, both of them get kind of water in between that glass. You know, I've never, I haven't found that to be a problem yet. So I will put links to these in the show description notes. Underneath the video, you'll see the word see more. Click on it, you'll see a link to these. I did buy both of these with my own money. But if you click on that link, it's going to take you to Amazon. If you end up buying it, I will get a commission from the sale. The product won't cost you anymore but it is a way of supporting my channel. Again, I bought these with my own money and I was not paid for this video. I really appreciate everybody's support. If you'd like to see either one of these air fryers compared to another air fryer, please leave them in the comments down below. And if you could underneath the video, give it a thumbs up. That really helps out my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. If you could hit the like and the subscribe button.